from one of the chats. Why do so many Jews have beards? Is it a style or is there more to it? What about the curly payas and the other payas styles behind the ears? Is it rooted in Kabbalah or is there other, is it just a style or is there something about it? Hey, beards and payos. Side locks, the curly ones, the ones behind the ears, the ones that don't have them behind the ears, are they fashion statements or are they religious statements? Well, beards are a sign of maturity. So we consider that as a, uh, uh, a, 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 a action of uh, certain maturity of per greatness of a person. Uh, babies and young people don't have beards because they're not of age. They don't have, don't have the, their mind is not t totally developed yet. And uh, by beards, that's one of the ways of maturity. Uh, we say that uh, uh, a, a, a child who doesn't reach the age of 12 or 13 by boy and a girl, they're still considered minors, not responsible for what they do, not uh, commanded to keep the laws of the Torah. When they start growing up and they start having hair growing, the hair is a considered part of, it's not enough to have years, but a person has to have a certain hair is also to grow, to show maturity. So maturity on the beard is also the same thing. So it's considered a, um, an, a, a sign of a certain maturity and development of, of a person. So therefore, th th that's why Jews uh, grew beards in the old times, and even today also, it's considered a, a, a certain time in the person's life that he, by growing a beard, it also gives him an awareness of himself that uh, he has to be careful with his actions because he's come to the maturity level of having a beard, and now his seichel and his uh, understanding and it becomes more uh, uh, developed, and therefore God expects more from him the more mature a person is. So uh, therefore, uh, by having a beard, uh, many people feel that this gives them a, uh, a, a uplifting of their uh, ideas, of their feelings, and they're more careful in how they have to act to themselves and in front of other people. Now the payas, the reason for that is uh, because uh, it's forbidden for a man to cut off his payas. So uh, you, you just like on a person's beard, you're not allowed to cut with a razor. If, if a person does cut his beard, it has to be not with a razor, only in certain ways that it be cut not uh, according to Torah law. And a payas of the head, even without a razor, to make a person go uh, around cutting off the sideburns is forbidden for a man to do. So therefore, uh, some people are afraid that if they start cutting the hair in that place, they might cut it too close and cut it off altogether too, too much. Therefore, they say, I'm not going to touch it. Leave it alone because I don't want to have the go and have to take a chance of going against the Torah law of cutting off the sideburn. So therefore, just leave it the way it is and they don't touch it in order not to come to, uh, uh, to the, the uh, Avera, the sin of cutting on one's sideburns. That's, that's the, that's the uh, main reason why they have those long sideburns. They don't want to touch it. No, no, they're not, they're afraid that maybe they go too far, cut it too close. If you cut it too close, then it's no good. Okay. Where Question is, where is it written? It's written in the Pashas uh, Kedoshim. Pashas Kedoshim, that's what we read a few weeks ago in Vayikra, in Kedoshim, it says that you're not allowed to cut your, uh, your beard with a razor and not cut your sideburns. Pas Roshchem lo Sakif, to quote exactly, Sakifu Pas Roshchem, you should not make go around the sideburns that cut them off and it's the hair in the back and the front come together. You have sideburns to make a interruption between the two. Who can I call?